Hey guys, I got two calls for you. Neither of these people have had heater air for three months. Our winter is pretty mild and it's easy to produce some kind of heat with like heater or gas logs or something. But there's only one way to produce cooling and it's fixing to get hot. So this first one is a tenant who has been suffering with no heat or air when her landlord basically refuses to get anything done or send somebody over don't know what they're doing she don't have electricity in half of her house at the end of that one i'm going to tell you what you can do if you're a tenant and something like this is happening to you stay tuned We are on one that this lady says she hasn't had, this hasn't worked since last year. So let's see what's going on. Of 2002, so it's 20 years old. Let's uh. <clears throat> they don't put these kind of spade connectors on compressors no more. Not on residential ones anyway.
see Jack under there. See that one of those terminals has blown out. Hmm. All right, before we move on to the next, I'm going to tell you what a tenant can do to help make sure that something happens. And I'm going to go ahead and say this because. The rental companies or realtors that I work for don't treat people like this. So I don't care if I lose this one guy's business, I'm not going to lose anybody else's. A tenant, if they don't have heat or air, the landlord's slow to respond, taking months to get something done, they can call code enforcement. And code enforcement will come out and make them do something. So I hope that tip is helpful for somebody. Here we go on to the next. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're going to give a second opinion on something. So um, I don't know what we're going to find, but I have a little bit of a road trip to get there. Stay tuned. All right, the call I'm on right now, this lady has also been without heat or air since December, but she doesn't have a landlord. She uses a home warranty and they just haven't done anything about it. Somebody came out, looked at it and said, oh, I can't do a leak search because there's no Freon in it. Wait till you see what I just found. All right, I was wanting y'all to see this. How about that for a repair job? It looks horrible. I'm pressurizing it and we're fixing to do a leak search. It had almost no Freon in it. Yeah, because it's... I, I, I don't know. I just went scared. And having to do that back and forth, being a single parent and me working so many hours, I just tried to make do with what I could until I could get off. Because with us being short, I've been working a lot. Y'all having shortage problems with people? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, even officers, be very short. Some are anterior. I can understand why some people would no longer want to be an officer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can understand. Those, I got, I got a lot of respect for those fellas. I'm checking the accumulator. Mm-hmm. 
It looks like I'm seeing oil up here too. Wait a minute, that compressor's disconnected. I can't believe you've been without for three months. One point three, one point six, so we should have something like two point nine, two point seven five. That compressor might run it. He worked by himself and he's still trying to figure out a way to help me. put some more nitrogen to this pump up the pressure a little bit and we're gonna search again Picking something up down there. Mm. All right, we definitely got a leak down there. 
I'm gonna pull this top off and check this more thoroughly. Yes. I am steady picking up something right there. Oh, that's, that's uh, the max reading on high. That's what that is. I think I have found enough reasons to condemn this thing. Right now I'm looking for a nameplate. Here we go. These are banana trees. If you call them a tree, that's a three and a half ton, 2010, I think. So 12 years old. It's in rough shape now. All right, on that one, sometimes I feel like I'm an insurance adjuster where you go out and you look at a system and you start calculating the price of the repair in your head. And at some point it gets to, it gets so high that the price of the repair is more than the system is worth. So that was the case in this one when I got in a vap coil and an accumulator. The rest of what I was looking for just kind of put icing on the cake. So we're going to try to get her a new system and hopefully we can get it soon because like I said, it's getting hot. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one.